in the middle of summer they were going to turn uh, a forest all white and pretend that it was winter and then uh, Bent had recorded these various church bells um, and built uh, little pieces of music each about two to three minutes long um, incorporating those pitches as the kind of starting point for each, each uh, separate little part song and um, it's both a piece of music therefore but originally anyway it was an installation that people could visit and walk around in with the sound of the bells and the singing uh, going on at the same time. There is just this beauty in the bells because they're not always, they have such a, a strong colour and they're very different. Some of them is impossible, when I recorded them, some of them was impossible to sort of pitch saying this, this is this pitch because every, it was like there were so many pitches and so many different pitches inside every bell. So it's, it's, um, it's a mystery, there's a mystery about it. The, um, the bells has a kind of enigma in it, uh, which is very difficult to, to describe what it is. So, um, and it's not, not necessarily a, a religious thing, it's, um, it's a bell. There is something about bells. You suddenly realise, well, I know what the note is, but at the same time I can hear a lot of other sounds overtones uh, that seem to be moving around and then suddenly you know you, you get the impression that maybe the pitch itself is actually altering fluctuating and I think it's true and I think I can't speak for Bent but I think that he's also tried to capture some of this this movement of intonation in in the vocal music as well is that right there yeah. that, that's why you That's what, what I, mean? I always do. Okay, so they're both put, put both F sharp. Yeah. Okay. It's like uh, it's a sound where if you live if you are in the countryside and you it's quite silent and you hear the church bells from different places, you have the feeling that it's it's um, it's a sound which is um, timeless. It's, it's 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 incredible old and incredibly new at the same time. So it's like a sound who is, has been there all the time. Um, and uh, it is a, is a, in a way, it then becomes a reminder of the past, you know, in a, in a not melancholic way. I think it's an emotional um, connection to something that the bells create, and there it becomes a psychological, you know, a, a personal response. Uh, each one of us is different in that respect. I realise that this is what this music reminds me of. Uh, not all the time and not in every piece, but in some pieces very strongly. This yearning feeling uh, and of harmonies that go to a slightly in, in a slightly unexpected direction, but then resolve with some beautiful chord that makes sense of the whole thing. And so I've come to the realisation that uh, Bent Sanson is, I'm not sure, he's either a modernist with romantic leanings, or he's a, a romantic with modernist leanings. I'm not quite sure which one is the dominant figure, but they're both there. <laughs> <laughs>